Whether you're a motorhead, a grease monkey, or just a plain old 9-to-5 A-to-B driver, ever since the first ever commercial motor made its way to our bustling city streets, automotive vehicles have become an unavoidable part of our civilization, particularly when you're dodging traffic. While most of us spend our adult lives as semi-competent drivers, there are those that have transcended the very meaning of piloting a vehicle, to the point that it's become somewhat of an art form. From 8-hour drifting maniacs to cars that can climb stairs, here's 15 god-level drivers who do unreal things. There's a lot more tension on the outside looking at me doing it. I'm just totally focused. Parking a truck. All right, you may be thinking, parking a truck? Is that it? Well, before we dive into the bulk of these extraordinary feats of driving, we need to turn your attention to the otherwise underappreciated skill that it takes to park. A commercial truck. Stick with us for a minute and feast your eyes on this video footage of a truck driver demonstrating their unreal ability to steer a full-sized truck through an incredibly narrow series of twists and turns. In Europe, in particular, the skill behind piloting huge trucks through narrow winding streets has recently become a subculture of technical driving in the automotive world, with drivers being required to navigate increasingly difficult metropolitan landscapes to keep the continent's infrastructure running. While this driver in particular is certainly an incredible driver, he's also not the only one with amazing instances of truck drivers demonstrating technical skills required to complete the coveted blindside parallel park, a tricky maneuver that's required by all truck drivers to pull off in order to acquire their license. During this maneuver, the truck starts in a lane next to the desired loading area, where it then pulls forward and backs into the space, all while their vision is completely blocked. Successfully pulling off this move in an empty parking lot is one thing, but doing it on a busy downtown street is a whole different tier of God-level driving. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Dakar Rally Drivers All right, forget about trucks for now, because what better way to prove that you're a God-level driver than by competing in the toughest race on Earth, the Dakar Rally, an off-road perilous adventure that pits its drivers against some of the most inhospitable and unforgiving terrain on Earth. Although Le Mans, the Indy 500, or the Isle of Man TT are coveted as the pinnacle of God-level driving, the Dakar Rally is a motorsport event like no other, one that holds an almost mythological status amongst its participants and spectators alike. Held annually, the event has pitted its drivers on a course that stretches from Paris, France all the way to Dakar and Senegal, but has varied in recent years due to security concerns and was most recently held in Saudi Arabia. As an off-road endurance event, the desert terrain is the biggest hurdle for challengers to overcome, and so the rally itself is split into five vehicle categories, motorcycles, quad bikes, cars, trucks, and UTVs, pitting each vehicle against a perilous route of off-road scorching dunes, deep trenches of mud, camel grass, rocks, and sheer cliff faces. Yeah, as you can tell, it's considered the most difficult rally in the world for a reason. Incredibly, the race itself originated back in 1977, following an incident where French motorcycle racer Thierry Sabine got lost in the Sahara Desert while competing in the Abidjan to Nice rally. Sure, he may have steered pretty far off course, but the most infamous rally in the world became the result of the misfortune. <laughs> Bartek Ostolowski. Okay, speaking of overcoming impossible challenges, this next entry is sure to demonstrate God-level driving with a much-needed dose of incredible human resilience. Meet Bartek Ostolowski, a Polish professional drifter with an incredibly unique skill. Rally driver, uh, so I try competing and uh, then accident happened. One that has set him apart from his peers after he turned a tragedy into an astonishing moment of opportunity. After losing both his arms in a motorcycle accident, unbelievably, Bartek learned how to drive with only the use of his feet, using a specially modified Nissan Skyline that he now uses to compete in professional drifting competitions. 
At the age of 20, Bartek was considered to be one of the most bright and young stars on the Polish competitive racing circuit, and after his horrific accident, although many people believed that he would never race again, he overcame the impossible odds by becoming the first driver with no arms to earn his international racing license. He says that he owes his refired passion of driving to another man in Poland who had a similar accident, but had managed to drive a car on a daily basis with no problems. He figured that if this regular guy could pilot his own vehicle without letting it hinder his life, then he could somehow engineer a way to reignite his racing career. And since then, he's found success after success in the racing scene. Most recently, he finished 9th of 50 drivers in the Polish Drift Championship, and that first place podium is still set in his sights. Incredible. <laughs> Terry Grant's Barrel Roll In the world of competitive stunt driving, there is one name that stood out amongst the rest. One that's carved a strange place in the professional world of race car driving, not by actually racing, but by completing some of the most unbelievable stunts ever conceived. In stunt driving, Terry Grant is a living legend, and although he has completed a boatload of incredible stunts throughout his career, perhaps his most impressive is the gravity-defying barrel roll, a trick that earned him a Guinness World Record title in the process, orchestrated by Jaguar during their launch for the latest E-Pace vehicle the car manufacturer decided to take on the furthest barrel roll in a production vehicle category by bringing to life a stunt only ever seen in action movies. After months of planning and preparation, the official stunt took place at the Excel Center in London, which involved Terry Grant driving the Jaguar E-Pace along a ramp before hurtling through the air turning over 270 degrees and landing safely on the other side. Incredibly, Terry Grant pulled off the stunt with relative ease, and after achieving a spectacular 50-foot-long barrel roll, he was officially confirmed as a Guinness World Record holder. Incredibly, during the attempt, Grant was subject to over 5.5 Gs, an immensely powerful gravitational force that would make the most hardened astronauts queasy. In yet another Guinness World Record, this one is very special, the largest loop-the-loop -loop ever driven in a car. <laughs> Ho Pin Tung's Stair Climb Alright, sure, a 50-foot-long barrel roll is pretty impressive, but how about climbing over 1,000 stairs in a Range Rover? And by climbing, we mean climbing, traveling at a 45-degree angle for over 7 miles. Completed by famed Chinese stunt driver Ho Pin Tung, the incredible feat was commissioned once again by Jaguar Racing and required Tung to pilot a Range Rover Sport P400E hybrid along the legendary Tianmen Mountain Road, also known as the Dragon Road, which features a dizzying 99 turns before climbing upward to the Heaven's Gate Arch through 999 daunting steps. Although it was essentially a publicity stunt for Jaguar's new line of hybrid vehicles, the challenge itself has become one of the most extraordinary moments in automotive history. Ever since the construction of Heaven's Gate, nobody has ever attempted to drive a vehicle up to it, and so it was officially the first time in history that anyone has dared to take up the challenge. At the time, there was an incredible buzz about the stunt, as many Chinese racing fans believed it to be an impossible task. The most foreboding factor was the incline of the 999 steps. And if at any time during the stunt it started raining, or a fog descended, the steps would have become too slippery for any tire tread to maintain traction. As it turned out, Ho Pin Tung and Jaguar proved them all wrong. Still shaking. The adrenaline is something I've never experienced before. <laughs> Han Yui's Parallel Parking all right, let's stay in the incredibly diverse landscape of China for a moment and turn your attention toward an automotive stunt of an entirely different caliber. While the Dragon Challenge pitted an SUV against a perilous mountain journey, for one Chinese stunt driver, the only record worth breaking was by maneuvering into the tightest parking space in history. Although the official world record had previously been held for several years by British racing driver Alistair Moffat, Back in 2014, Chinese stunt driver Han Yui somehow managed to slide his vehicle into a parallel parking space that was just three and a half inches bigger than his car. Held at the China Drift Championship in Chongqing, Han Yui completed this incredible stunt in a mini three-door hatch, the same vehicle that's been used in the previous world record. Incredibly, after the previous record had been set by the British driver, experts had thought that 
Alistair's record of 3.4 inches was physically unbeatable. The astonishing parking feat was achieved by hurtling toward the space at high speeds before at the very last moment activating the handbrake and perfectly sliding the vehicle into the area. Uh, maybe we'll just find another spot further up the street. <laughs> Tractor Drifters Okay, you may have seen some of the most astonishing and capable drivers of all time powering their way across an incredible automotive machine, but how about doing it in a tractor? Yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet. In a promotional stunt that has essentially become the Fast and the Furious in tractors back in the early 2014, a Scandinavian tire brand named Vianor decided to dispel the myth that stunt driving could only be completed in high-powered custom-engineered vehicles by releasing Tractor Terror. In a series of previously thought impossible stunts, Tractor Terror pits agricultural farming machinery in an array of 180 and 360 degree spins, donuts, and drifting. Yeah, you heard that right, a drifting tractor. While VNR are famed for their uniquely designed tractor tires, they decided to demonstrate just how versatile their retail product is. You may not believe it, but the tractor seen in this video is a souped up 1956 Volvo BM Terrier completed with an added roll cage, adjustable front suspension, and an extended frame. Incredibly, the custom setup can pull up to 225 horsepower and is capable of reaching top speeds of 60 miles per hour. That's some tractor. <laughs> Vesa Kivameki's Side Wheelie Okay, we've seen some pretty staggering stunts already, but have you ever heard of a side wheelie? In what has become an almost unbeatable feat of stunt driving, considered by many to be the pinnacle of stunt driving, this bizarre challenge undertaken back in 2016 was so difficult that bulletproof tires had to be used in order to achieve the desired effect, completed by Finnish stunt driver Vesa Kivamaki. The challenge resulted in a brand new Guinness World Record being set as the fastest two-wheeled side wheelie in a car, reaching an astonishing top speed of 115 miles per hour in the process. Well, while Vesa had made earlier attempts to achieve such an incredible record, he had previously always fallen short due to the fact that the types of tires he was required by such a stunt are put under enormous amounts of pressure. For those in the know, tires have always been a determining factor in side wheelie record attempts. With the car tilted over, only the sidewalls of the tires are in contact with the asphalt, and with conventional tires, the friction wears them to the point of failure almost instantly. The answer? Bulletproof tires! It's always bulletproof tires. <laughs> Vietnam's motorcycle drivers. All right, let's take a breather for a moment and take a look at a much more universal driving experience. For those of us that live in Southeast Asia or have ever been fortunate enough to spend some time there, driving in the densely populated cities of the East has come with the ever-present danger of poor road surfaces, the threat of exotic animals darting across the road, and of course, unpredictable and wonderfully mad tires. In Vietnam in particular, motorcycle driving has taken on an entirely new life as an almost cultural spectacle of insanity-level driving, and one that isn't always taken lightly. The roads in Vietnam are considered by many to be some of the most perilous in the world, and as Vietnam currently has one of the highest road mortality rates in the world, raising awareness around road safety has become an impossible task. The problem is, many motorcyclists in Vietnam have taken to driving on the pavement in order to beat rush hour traffic, which has resulted in an entirely new level of commuting. <laughs> Johann Schwartz's 8-Hour Drift Sure, we've seen some impossible God-level driving already, but without a doubt, this next astonishing feat is like no other. Believe it or not, but back in 2018, Danish stunt driver Johan Schwartz decided it would be a good idea to achieve a new world record in drifting, the driving technique that requires sliding in a circular motion at high speeds. But this time, he figured it would be a bright idea to maintain that drift for an extended period of time. How about over eight hours? What the heck? Astonishingly, the eight-hour drift wasn't even the ultimate star of this show because the real challenge came with the fact that Schwartz's BMW M5 needed to be refueled midway through the stunt. And to achieve the specific refueling moment, it meant that the second vehicle had to also drift at the exact same speed. Somehow, despite the overwhelming specifications of such an impossible stunt, the team pulled it off without a hitch. Right there, right there, right there. Ooh. And Schwartz and his team hurtled into the record books with both the longest drift of all time as well as the longest distance traveled during a drift. 
232 and a half miles. Hmm. Harpreet Dev's Back Gear Style Ever been driving your car and all of a sudden you pull off a pretty cool reverse? Perhaps even backing into a parking space while you're doing it, yeah? Well, imagine doing that at over 50 miles per hour. And also, driving everywhere, all the time, in reverse. Meeting Harpreet Dev, an Indian driver that has installed four extra gears in his custom-built vehicle, enabling him to drive anywhere in reverse. Yeah, we mean anywhere and everywhere, because this guy has been reversing along India's roads for the past 15 years. Reportedly, as the story goes, Harpreet started driving backwards when his car got stuck in reverse back in 2003, and since then, he insists that he feels safer driving backwards than forwards. Although, at the time he couldn't afford to repair his vehicle, eventually he had managed to gather enough cash together to fix his car, but had grown so accustomed to driving backwards that he had three more reverse gears fitted in order to safely achieve a speed variety. Yeah, uh, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> Norway Police Chase While there have been some pretty eye-watering high-speed police chases throughout history, this next entry demonstrates some of the most god-tier driving that we've ever seen, as a team of jewel thieves somehow managed to evade police through a park in central Oslo, Norway. After raiding a jewelry store armed with pistols, the team of thieves fled the scene on a moped and police were quickly dispatched to the area to chase them down. While hurtling through the busy Oslo streets, the thieves decided it would be the perfect time to lose the police in a nearby park, but they didn't account for the fact that the driver of the chasing police car was a god-tier driver. Just watch and see what happens, because it seems that there's no hiding from this driver. Hmm. <laughs> Bus Drivers in the Himalayas Being a driver, whether you're a taxi driver, a bus driver, or a delivery driver, can often be difficult enough when it comes to the risks of a regular occupation, but when you take those risks and place them in roads like these, holy moly. When it comes to God-level driving, the insane bus drivers that navigate the mountainous Himalayas of India and Nepal are on an entirely different level. Tragically, while this instance is an incredible feat of driving, the results are often catastrophic, and it's thought that across the Indian Himalayas alone, more than 5,000 people per year die in dangerous traffic collisions throughout these treacherous roads and mountain landscapes. Back in June of 2019, more than 40 people tragically lost their lives after a coach plunged into a deadly gorge found in the rugged mountainous state Himachal Pradesh. Sadly, it's not an isolated incident, and nearly every month, bus drivers and tourists alike lose their lives trying to make their way across the region, which is renowned for its deadly landslides and road conditions during the monsoon season. Ken Block Stunt Extraordinaire Alright, for the motorheads amongst us, you've probably been thinking, when is Ken Block going to be featured? Well, fear not, because this list certainly wouldn't be complete without us highlighting the stunt king extraordinaire himself. For those of you that aren't familiar with the name, Ken Block is a legend in the world of stunt driving. And after celebrating an extraordinary career in professional rally driving, he now astonishes the racing world by pulling off some of the most impossible stunts ever designed. Perhaps Block's most famous series of stunts are his Gymkhana events, a motoring experience held annually across the planet that pits some of the most talented drivers in the world against a series of time trials. There's not much more than we can say about these legendary performances because the driving speaks for itself. Greg Godfrey's Truck Jumps and finally, as our last location on this whistle stop tour, we have to pay tribute to another legend of the motoring world with daredevil Greg Godfrey, a driver that has recently been known as the spiritual successor to Evil Knievel himself. Back in 2015, held at the annual Evil Knievel Days in Butte, Montana, Greg Godfrey attempted an unimaginable stunt, a motoring moment that saw him complete the world's longest jump in a nine-ton semi-truck. Astonishingly, during this stunt, Godfrey claimed that he'd only meant to jump 140 feet in total, but somehow managed to hurdle 166 feet in his semi-truck, smashing the previous record by over 100 feet. Hey, that's one way to do it, right? And as it turns out, Evil Knievel would have been proud. Well, there we have it. 15 God-level drivers who do unreal things. What'd you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As usual, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Fire.